Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to move the slider widget from the top area here to this area to the left of the sidebar and just above the content. And in order to do that I'm also going to demonstrate how to upgrade the click bump theme to the latest beta release which is beta 4 as of today. So currently I'm on the dashboard area of my WordPress admin. I'm going to click over here the click bump 5 button which will bring up theme options and as I scroll down I can see the current version installed is version 5.17 and so I'm going to upgrade this theme to the latest beta release which is as I said beta version 4 so to do that I click upgrade C5 and then choose file and that's going to open a menu and I'm going to go here to the click bump engine folder and I, I've got all of my files here so I'm going to go into the beta 4 folder where I've got that installed and I'm going to click this click bump upgrade.zip file okay I'm also going to put my email address here you'll put your email address that you use to purchase the software and then I'm going to click install. I can see the progress down here at the bottom of the window and it's going to upload and then it just asks me to click apply. That refreshes the screen so that I can see that the latest version has been upgraded to version 5.2 beta 4. Okay, And so that the beta version actually adds a few items to the software uh, specifically in the ads area it reorganizes this area a little bit but it also gives you the ability to customize your ad colors um, I recommend doing this at the AdSense site uh, so that you can globally manage your ad colors across all your websites but if you just want to go into a specific site and customize the ad colors or if you don't want to bother with the uh, global settings at the AdSense site you can manage uh, your custom uh, titles URLs, text, and backgrounds of your ads in this interface. Okay, so just on the side, that's the uh, version 5217, or the, excuse me, the version 52 beta 4 upgrade gives you. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is we'll look at the website real quick, and we can see that nothing really has changed on the website side, but I'm going to go into the widgets area and that's where we configure our sidebar widgets and our slider so currently the sidebar the slider widget is in the header area so I'm just gonna open that and I can see all my content here I'm gonna go ahead and just say hide this I click hide so now the slider will not appear on the website so just click F5 to refresh you can see the slider is no longer on the site alright so I go back to my widgets and I want to pull this slider into above content so I can just grab the slider from the available widgets collection pull it over and you can see it already comes in pre-configured with the default content that I can easily change if I'd like to uh, it's already set to show on home and I can just click save and now when I go to preview the site you can see that now the slider is showing up to the left of the sidebar so it just gives you another option to showcase your slider content and as I build this this website out you'll see that it, this is actually going to be a example realtor website I'm going to have my featured home listings here uh, as well as over in the sidebar under the menus uh, and I'm also going to enable this website with categories and I'll show the I'll display the category index similar to what you see on <clears throat> excuse me on my click bump site I've got a post about this latest template I've created canvas but what you'll see is something similar to this layout instead of electronic products we'll see houses so just follow along and uh, on this realtor.clickbump.com site you'll see that in the coming days